a vibrant bus terminal featuring pink skies and explicit brush strokes. Hallucinatory stripes in overlapping layers. And a quirky young girl struggling to carry her luggage and ori body. These are all part of the Ankara Art Fair. For three days, the event will host hundreds of local and foreign galleries in this huge venue. 10,000 square meters, almost the size of two football pitches full of art. The fair takes place in the Turkish capital, but attendees have come from around the world. China is this year's guest of honor, but it's not the only East Asian country attending. And my words uh, is just to go outside and looking around and being in the nature and kind of, you know, thinking, being to be a one with the nature, okay? And then by using Indian ink and Korean traditional paper, I just started. If I made a mistake once, then I have to throw it away. I have to start from the first time, okay? That's a Korean traditional painting. Much Turkish art is being exhibited here too. Even though it's not possible to see younger artists' work, some eminent names from earlier generations are being showcased. My famous Istanbul paintings are being shown here as well as this triptych and most excitingly my new virtual reality work. It provides us with a tour in my Istanbul paintings. Most of these were showcased before. We have really good art events in Istanbul now. The art scene is not what it was like 50 years ago. I am always exhibiting somewhere. Despite having hundreds of galleries and museums, Turkey has only recently started playing host to dozens of art fairs, Art Ankara being one of the most recent. But what is the role of these fairs in the local art stage? Art fairs are for trade, but also for cultural exchanges. Culture cannot be without money, and money cannot be without culture. Turkish art world has been balancing that well. Progress in the last decades, especially the leap in the early 2010s, is incredible. So global terror and financial instability around the globe are said to have damaged the art business lately. Do you think this is also true for Turkish art scene? Of course, it is inevitable, but the drop in art business doesn't mean that the art scene is declining. Whatever happens in Turkey, art and creativity always find their way. The thing is, it is now time for other cities than Istanbul, for Anatolia to get a piece of the pie. And I am hoping Art Ankara will be a gateway to the rest of the country. Bringing together global with local and art with buyers, the fair proves Ankara is raising its game on the art stage. Elif Bereketli, TRT World, Ankara. Thank you.